Super Slow Motion That 960 FPS Super Slow Mo is one of Samsung's most hyped up features for the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus this year. And as you've seen, it delivers. That said, there are a few limitations. And in today's video, let's take a close look at 960 FPS Super Slow Motion on the Galaxy S9 Plus, what it brings with it, how to shoot it, and what kind of restrictions you get with it. Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and before we begin, here's a card to our latest giveaway. There's also a link in the description below. Do check it out and while you're down there, hit that bell icon to get on our notification squad. The reason why things are a little complicated is because the SoC on the S9 or any smartphone SoC for that matter isn't powerful enough to shoot an entire video in 960 FPS. The max we've seen smartphone SoCs do is 240 FPS at full HD and that's also on the latest iPhones. So how does Samsung manage to do 960 FPS here? Well, they let us capture only 0.2 seconds of footage then slow it down to get 6 seconds. I mean, to get to technical at 0.17 seconds of footage, slow down 36x. So, how do we get this done? Open up camera, select super slow mo. Now, here's where the complication kicks in. You need to hit the shutter button at the exact right moment. And you need to be real precise since you get only about 0.2 seconds of super slow mo. Now, that is a difficult task. If you get it right, it'll look really good, like this. But if you get it wrong, well, this is what you'd end up with. Now to ease this, Samsung has added an auto mode. So switch from manual to auto. Now tap and drag the square to wherever you think the action will take place. Now when motion is detected, the super slow mo shutter gets triggered automatically. Like this for example. Now let's try that again. As you can see, you can't uh, try these shots back to back. The super slow mo processing takes a bit of time. Overall, you can get up to 20 super slow mo clips in one recording. If you don't see the option to get mul uh, multiple super slow mo spots, go into settings and make sure that the super slow mo option is set to multi take. Another thing you can do is enable flash while shooting. Now, during playback, if you want to say just send the 960 FPS part of the video to someone, you can edit it. Additionally, you can turn super slow mo off after shooting. It's nice that Samsung gives dedicated toggles for each 960 FPS clip. Talking about sharing the video, you can also add a music track to the background. The list of available tracks is quite extensive, but if you don't like any of these, you can always add your favorite track from internal storage. So what else? Oh yeah, you can get you can set any of these clips as your lock screen wallpaper. Imagine looking at Sharik getting punched every time you turn your display on. I know, I know, watching Sundar would be a lot more satisfying, but you get the point, right? Now, now note that when you set a landscape clip as wallpaper, it's cropped to fit the entire screen. Now remember, it's 720p footage playing on a Quad HD display to start with, and it certainly doesn't look great when cropped. So if you wanna set it as a wallpaper, you'd be better off shooting portrait. So there you go, everything you need to know about the new super slow-mo feature on the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. Did you find this video interesting? Did you find it useful? Let us know by hitting that thumbs up button. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button too and the bell icon because we are greedy, we want you to hit everything, not dislike. I mean, if you dislike the video, you can, but otherwise hit the other three and get notified every time we upload a new video on the channel. And don't forget to share this video on social media if you know anybody who might be interested in this. So thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this here is Ash. You've been watching C4E Tech and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.